Where, where's the deal? Let's call them, contact them, touch them, yeah. see if we can salvage some of that business. A lot of it's the action. It's getting people motivated to take the action and not. But you see, I do that because words. I know how to, to make the call. Right. So if you tell your, if you tell these, how many stores? Two thirty-five. Get on the phone. They're like, okay, they're gonna make a couple calls and then they're gonna stop. They're gonna abandon that activity because they don't know how to make the call. Mm -hmm. So in that platform is little stuff like not just training stuff. I know right right now your, your guys, if I asked them what it is, they'd be like, oh, it's a training platform. Not really. I mean, that's part of it, but part of it is what do I do now? Mm -hmm. I have somebody coming in, the appointment didn't show. How do I salvage an appointment that didn't show? How do I get an appointment? How do I prospect my own people? Right. So how, how do I get these people back in here that, that, that said they, they wanted to do something but didn't? What if I make one call, two calls, three calls and nobody answered? What do I do now? Y'all mind if I sit down? Can I need yeah, it? Right. Changing the model and you know how going away from the receipt base to sales base obviously came in here and interrupted your power. Well. <laughs> so we know that even though we're in the training space, it's not what people want. And probably doesn't it's not what your operators want, probably not what you want. What you want is you want that you, you want sales. So re really what this is, is like the first, when we first go into an organization, the first thing we look for is w where is the low hanging fruit of the organization? So while well, I live in Miami, the storm hit us, knocked us out for about a week. I, was, I, I uh, diverted myself to my, and my family to Los Angeles to get away from it. Office was down for a week, then it takes another week to get everything go going back. I got back in this Monday and I'm like, show me the low hanging fruit. So all I cared about, not what we did, I knew we were gonna be off. Who showed up on a phone call, traffic log, somewhere. They came in and showed some interest, and that's where you told me you had $40 million, mm -hmm. uh, $40 million showed up on credit apps and, and nobody, they didn't do anything with them. Well, why, why would I do all that? So then what we do is we start contacting those people. There's a part of, the, there's a piece of the platform, that what we call a university, basically tells people what to say in those phone calls. There's no theory. There's nothing to learn. I just pop up and say, this is what I would do on this call. Whole video is 14 seconds long. So nobody can say they don't have time. We're not trying to train anybody or teach anybody anything. Just saying, hey, try this in this phone call. So the management level, the mid-management level, uh, they, they, they love it because what are they interested in? They, 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 they want to get something done right now. So that's half of the program. The other half is training, education, reporting, so we know who's doing what, when they're doing it, and how they're doing it, so we make them better. So if I came here and had a meeting with management here, we'd want to record that, drop it into the network, and push it out to all the stores. Very similar to our LMS. We actually yeah. um, partnered with Matt at the dealer show and took a product knowledge video of our vendors, and then we will be slicing that up providing it back to Grant so he can place on online there for, for Matt's stores, but then also provide it on our LMS as well. Really? So we start controlling what people see. Because if you don't control what your people see, they're on YouTube right now watching some garbage. Okay, they, they get distracted on their telephones. They, they all have TVs in their pockets right now. You're losing control of, control equals income. You don't control people, you don't make money. So at my company, at my company, everybody trains at my company but not on my time. So I walked in one day and I watched a guy watching my videos. He's learning how to close deals. I'm like, dude, what are you doing here, man? What are you doing? He, I'm watching your videos. Not on my time, you know. You train on your own time. Pick up the phone. Okay, pick up that phone right now. Uh, pick up that phone right now and call somebody. Okay, I'm not paying you to, uh, to, train, to train. We're a training company. I'm not training anybody. I make them train before they get there. Come up, come in early, train. Okay, educate yourself before you get here, educate yourself after while you're here, I want you on the phone. And by the way, that's the best thing for them too. That kid will make 400 grand this year because I keep him on the phone and I keep him off of YouTube and I don't care if he's, I don't need him on Twitter. I need him on the phone, finding those deals that are close that you already spent money on. So that's my our organization, but we, we get it done. Like, like we get 100% pass on our test 
We get six segments a day. Six segments a day is going to cost what? Twelve minutes? Yeah, eighteen minutes max. You know, we got people to do twelve and thirteen segments a day. So these are little short, tiny segments. If you don't give them something to look at, they're going to look at whatever. Let me see what news is going on today. Y'all know what's going on today? Uh, football. Puerto Rico. Football. Okay. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah, yeah. We didn't get there fast enough. Who, who knows? That's not going to make you any money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today we have. Uh, Rick Pitino got fired today. Yeah, that'll be running around. Mm -hmm. Tax reform, and most of you people don't even make, pay taxes because they don't make enough money. Uh, here's confess to something stupid on Twitter. You're gonna actually have some of your employees sit down and say, "I gotta confess to something stupid." You know, <laughs> I was on a toilet in a king lit. <laughs> <in a, in laughs> king air. I was laying in the plane from the back. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you know what I'm saying? Like your people get distracted. So what we wanted to do was create a network where, where we can focus your people. They can't read. 40% of America is illiterate. You got people going to college that cannot read books. They're, they literally can't get through textbooks. People that can read don't want to read. The average American reads one book a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, half of those are romance novels, which won't make anybody in this room any money. Maybe you. <laughs> Okay, but but you know what I'm saying. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a platform that, that they could activate from their phone, a tablet, a computer. We, we know they have computers. We know they have phones, and they could grab data that would start focus them on follow up. Is that an issue for your company? We are the company you should pick. I will get you to the one billion two years before he predicted. Work deals, man. Work deals. Stay on the go. Keep moving. And look at the little planes. Look at the big planes. Look at your plane. And go get a different plane. We're going to buy a different jet here. Okay? So, I'm going big. I'm tired of playing little. Now, unlike most people, the jet I have right now, that would be my third jet had I not had a bigger thing. No, and when I bought that jet, I'm like, okay, I might be able to just use that for a while. I did not know my production was going to go out the roof when I bought the first one, which it did, by the way. So all you bitches out there that say, oh, my God, who buys their own plane? People that want to produce more buy their own plane. Show-offs don't buy planes. They buy Lamborghinis. Okay, you understand? Show-offs buy fancy watches. By the way, I ain't saying I ain't a show-off. Show-offs tattoo their body and then take the shirts off. You understand? But 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 what am I saying to you? Show-offs do not buy planes. Highly productive people buy planes. Okay, a lot of other things you could buy before a plane if you want to show your shit off. That plane doubled my income last year. Last year I doubled my income with that bird. Now what I'm gonna do now? is I'm going to go get me a big ass plane so that I can keep my kids with me, I can homeschool them with me, I can go where I want, when I want, and I can cross the pond and go edumacate the Iranians and the Iraqis and my, my friends in Israel, okay? And I can go over and flip over to Dubai and go see my friends in Germany, go to London, Ireland. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hop down to the South America and see the Costa Ricans, the Argentinas, the Venezuelans, my peeps, my friends. I want to pop over to the to the Hawaii. Aloha, 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 Malakala. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I might even go see Kim Yon, Rocket Man, in the Narke. But I need a bigger bird to do that, dog. That means I gotta help more people. I gotta help more people, you know what I'm saying? I gotta help more people. I wanna help you, I wanna help your family, I wanna help your business, I wanna help you blow up. First you gotta show up, then we can blow up. Let's roll.